Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Yeah. What's going on with you good people, man? Now, I'm going to recap game two. I was thinking if I get off on in time, I'll give you a video of, um, I'm, I'll do a stream yard. So we all can talk about, um, so I could give you my breakdown and then I'll invite you guys in for the, um, for the rest of it. But Sunday we are going live for game three. We are going live Sunday because I'm off that day. So we'll see, you know, we'll go from there. Um, I, I'll see when I get off, it might be a late live, you know, so just bear with me. You guys be on point, be on, um, be on cue now listen we've got to stop jumping to conclusions when we see a headline James Harden was not arrested okay <laughs> I know a lot of people out there are looking for the news or looking for the breaking news and this isn't no sneak this this is just a certain people just be careful man how you do that because when you do that you kind of mess your credibility up you know, but if you don't care, then hey, keep doing what you're doing. Now, James Harden was with little baby overseas there in Perry. What I'm thinking they're going to some type of show. I don't know what the hell James Harden is wearing. I'm like, dog, are, are you wearing your mom's um gown or something or blouse? <laughs> or what? Like you you like he's wearing that stuff that he wearing that big shirt like a woman wears when she's going to bed. <laughs> and then red pants it's like I don't know dog these dudes be weird to me now little baby was arrested um and it was 32 grams of cannabis listen you can't be going around with marijuana on you I don't have a problem if you smoke it if you smoke it hey do your thing but you have to be smarter with it. You can't just be in the open with cannabis in your car or around. You're a celebrity and people are targeting you. He was being targeted. And I think they were saying something about him distributing. I think he was distributing or, or something. Marijuana. But we'll see. I'll give the report again tonight. I don't have it in front of me because I'm basically doing this video on, on my phone, so I can't really look it up right now. But, um, man, go around me, man. I'm not speeding. If you get caught with a ticket, that's on your dumb ass. Now, they're based, ES, Espen, I got to give y'all credit. Y'all are doing a good job keeping the attention away from the brownies Doug Gottlieb alright this is gonna be the only time I mention your lame ass name because don't nobody know who the fuck you are or in broken English terms nobody fucks with it nobody fuck with you nobody know who the fuck you is you understand me so let me let, let me tell you this bro alright let me tell you this you're saying what Rachel Nichols said wasn't wrong, right? Okay. So you're basically saying Maria Taylor was just picked because she was black. Maria Taylor used to play sports, basketball and I believe volleyball. She's been there since 2019. Make sure y'all go to Carcino for Life's page, Self Talks page, Kwame Brown, Bus Life page, C Pin for the win, who did it this time. C Pin, man, I'm expecting that video, bruh. I need to see a C Pin for the show, man. I'm scratching, man. It's, it's like crack, dog. I need it. I need it, C Pin. That Boko. A Boko. A Boko. <laughs> you know who did it? Um, unapologetic. He got a little channel. I gotta catch some more of his videos. 
Um, Seahawks Jose Rodriguez, man. This the whole team, man. We the fam, bro. We the fam, man. We we doing something big. We gonna do something big all together. Now, this, this, this is my thing here. Oh yeah, shout out to Ticket TV too, cause Ticket TV's been killing it as always. And shout out to his boy T Price too. T Price is doing his thing. Um, and um, James, James, the Noya boy, boy from Noya. You know what I'm saying? He cool as he's cool as hell. That's my favorite one, James. When James get to going with that that New Orleans accent, I understand every word he said. I'm like, boy, he talked like my peoples. <laughs> Shout out to the Uncle Frank man holding the wrench down. Now, this here's the thing. You're saying that Rachel Nichols was right, but Doug Gottlieb, I don't care about all that shit. Why isn't LeBronis fired his advisor? Why hasn't he fired his advisor for going off about Black Lives Matter as well as the Me Too movement? Why aren't you talking about the real issues? See, this is the problem I have with you and that fat coon boy who be wearing them fake ass fedora hats. Y'all know who I'm talking about, the big fat guy that Allen Iverson called out when he was on all the smoke. Y'all know who he talking about. I'm not mentioning his name because I don't need coons to get any shine. Because he's just doing shit for attention. Now, let's be real. I'm going to be real with you, Mr. Doug. Or I should call you Doug Funny with your big ass not snozzle. And your North Turner hair. Your North Turner haircut. If you don't know what the North Turner haircut is, go look up North Turner um, football coach and you'll see his comb over now let me tell you something Doug first of all Maria Taylor has busted her ass to me a lot harder than Rachel Nichols ever had to Rachel Nichols married into a family that is her mother-in-law is Diane Sawyer so Diane Sawyer I believe is on ABC right she runs it I don't know if she runs it but she has a show there right and she's white so to tell you the truth dude she's only in the position she's in is because she's a white woman and let's not forget shout out to Kwame Brown bus like she used to go by the name Rachel Alexander and then she used to be fat like F-A-T fat and fluffy she's so fluffy <laughs> that was her she was a big fat lard fluffy <laughs> she's so fluffy you don't talk about that how she changed her whole persona and everything once she became Rachel Nichols and then how she started talking to the players who would give her the time of day because the superstars like Kobe and them they weren't giving her no, no, no look at because she was nobody and then for one, nobody likes her, Doug. So what is it that you cool with her about? Are y'all are y'all are y'all smashing each other allegedly? Because nobody cares that the bitch is an adulteress. She's an adulteress, but nobody wants to mention that. Nobody wants to bring up how she cheated on her um husband. But if it was the black guy, the black man would have cheated. Y'all would have been all over him saying he's an adulterer. He's a liar. Right? Right? Come on, man. We, we done seen this storybook before, Doug. We done seen this storybook. Why don't you talk about her being unfaithful to her husband? Huh? And don't give me that Jada Pinkett Smith crap where all them damn black women tried to come out. Will did shut the fuck up, black women, because Will wasn't caught doing shit. If I'm not saying Will ain't do nothing, I'm just saying he ain't get caught in the cookie jar. She was caught with the candy bar. So let, let's just get that, let's just get that in perspective. So let me tell you something, Mr. Doug, Doug Funny. You need to go get some, you need to go find Patty. Because your boy Skeeter probably blowing her back out right now. So now. Also. 
Why didn't you mention Adam Metelson, Doug? Why you didn't mention Adam Metelson, the guy who basically said, I'm tired of Black Lives Matter and Me Too? LeBrownie's advisor, really his handler. I think he's LeBrownie's boss. I think he's LeBrownie's boss outside of the basketball court. On the basketball court is Adam Silver. But I think that's his boss or his handler. That's his handler who gets him to the next level or the echelon to speak with those other people. But let's be honest, dude. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Why didn't you mention his name? Why didn't you mention Adam Meddleson? Why would you just talk about Rachel Nichols and that? Why haven't you talked about Kayla? I think it's Kayla Johnson. I think her name's Kayla Johnson. I apologize if I messed it up. Um, go to Sino's page, Carcino for Life's page. He'll tell you the name of the lady. I think it's Kayla Johnson. Why you didn't talk about Kayla Johnson being fired? Why did they fire her when she wasn't the one who did anything? So what she let Maria Taylor here to take? Why did Rachel Nichols talk about it? Why wasn't Rachel Nichols disciplined, Doug? Let's say, Doug, that you talked about a fellow white man of yours on the network. You don't think they'll suspend you? Yeah, they'll suspend you. But because it was a black woman, oh, she don't get no disciplinary action. Their disciplinary action is, oh, you're not working the finals. Or the um, sideline reporting. Motherfucker, who cares? Are you not going to discipline? This bitch just disrespected saying that Maria Taylor got a job because she's black. So why the fuck is she still working? She should have been suspended. If that was Stephen A. Coon Smith, who basically talked about the Ray Rice situation and talked about how the wife provoked him, Michelle Beadle, ugly butch ass, came out of nowhere dissing her and in the laws of ESPN you cannot comment about another employee and she broke all those rules y'all suspended Stephen Coon Smith but let her live fuck out of here Mr. Doug nobody knows you Doug this is probably going to be the most highlight that you ever get and I know what you did Doug you basically did this to basically get your punk ass name known. Now everybody knows you, Doug Gottlieb, or Gottlieb, or Gottlie. I'm going to call you Gottlie. Da David Gottlie, that's his name. David Gottlie. You and Uncle Ruckus can get put in a barrel, light that mother, pour nothing but kerosene on you. Light that motherfucker and kick both y'all bitch asses in the ocean. And by the way, y'all can take Candace Owens' bitch ass too. You can take her too with you. Oh, you're being hateful. You being look, how am I hateful? You guys aren't taking you guys aren't taking down these white people or these Asians who are calling us niggas on YouTube. Right? What the guy Kwame Brown was talking about the Asians on there but it's funny nobody goes after the Jews or the Asians they're basically cool not to be fucked with but hey if it's um black people hey tear their ass down we don't give a fuck about them niggas anyway that's the way they live but y'all niggas still slow and still stuck so David why isn't Adam Meddleson being mentioned? Why didn't you mention that Adam Meddleson was right too? Why you just mention Rachel Nichols? First of all, who is this guy Adam Meddleson? Where does he come from? I'm not finna let this story down. So if you're tired of listening to this story, you can unsubscribe from my fucking channel. I don't give a fuck. Because I want to know the truth. I want to know why this guy is still out here kicking. Why nobody ain't said shit about him. Why nobody has come out and said, you know what? Man, we need to think about this Adam Meddleson guy, man. He was real disrespectful. He was real disrespectful to the black people. Nobody said nothing about that white boy, but y'all quick to say Rachel Nichols was right. What she was right about, Doug? What what was what was she right about, Doug Gottley? Doug Gottlie? What what was she right about? Only thing that she was right about was 
the only thing that she's ever been right about is is that she basically loves LeBronies. She's LeBroni Jankles plant. He put her there so she could write puff pieces on him while dissing Kobe and all of them. You don't think Kobe and them knew what LeBronies does? Kobe knows that the news people revolve around LeBronies. That's why he never fed into that bullshit because he was like, look, man, I'm better than this guy. Y'all could do all these stats, analytics. If you watch the game, Kobe's a far more superior player than him. Kobe could play in the 80s, the 70s, the 60s, any era Kobe could play in. Yo bum can't play in nothing but this era at all because in the 2000s he was getting his ass sent home it's just like Isaiah said about Michael in the 80s we was beating him in the 2000s they were like hey we was beating him <laughs> it's only two people it's only two guys it's only two teams that can say they got Kobe everybody else Kobe shitted on and Kobe probably played in the toughest era ever in the west it's a thing I gotta find it on the internet it showed the level of competition Michael Jordan and Tim Duncan are up there and then it has Kobe Bryant who played in the toughest era of anybody and this is an unbiased thing the person broke down the numbers of the teams they played against Kobe played against the toughest division toughest conferences the toughest guy the toughest teams in the west but nobody wants to give him credit and that's cool we understand why because y'all don't want him to be better than y'all idol. His baldness. But now Rachel. I mean Doug. Let's go back to Doug. Doug. I want to know why Adam Meddleson. Nobody ever brought him up. Why hasn't LeBrownies brought him up? Why hasn't LeBrownies got rid of this guy? He basically said. F Black Lives Matter. And then somebody gonna come out, man, Black Lives Matter is disorder. We know what it is, nigga. Stop trying to be all political now, but don't wanna bring the truth out, which is why this bum ain't fired that motherfucker yet. Why he ain't fired that white boy? I thought he was against the white people, so he's so big to go on Twitter and talk about a police officer, right? He'll be on Twitter every day. Yeah, man, gotta give love to them. Oh, yeah, gotta give love to CP3. Got Oh, you do all that shit, but then you go right back in your turtle shell when somebody say, hey, what about Adam Edelson, nigga? Oh, okay, speak about that. I'm going. Logging off now. Logging off. Yo, bitch ass logging off and shit. What you running from, boy? Your hairline been running forever, so I don't know why you running with it. <laughs> you might as well stay pat with that fake ass hair up top, boy. I'm losing some hair right here. You think I'm hiding it? No, motherfucker. You know why? Because I'm not. I'm not offended. I've been called every name in the book. Me being fat growing up. It didn't hurt me. <laughs> a girl, a girl talk about my a girl talk about my Johnson. It ain't all that. You think that hurt me? I just went and got another one and knocked her down. <laughs> Shoot, I ain't Mandingo, but I'm trying to stroke like him. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. You got to be in touch with your inner player, dog. You can't let stuff bother you. And see, that's your problem. That's your problem. You let every little bitty incy wincy thing bother your punk ass. Because you're mentally weak. Kobe lost his hair up top. He said, man, fuck it, I'm going bald. My God Daddy. I gotta give him a call, man. He gonna, he gonna cuss me out. My God Daddy up top here. Lost all his hair, but he still got his sides. He's still kicking. He don't give a damn. He's like, uh-uh, I ain't cutting that shit. I got a little bit of hair and I'ma roll with it. That's what we call confidence, LeBronies. Stop worrying about what the fuck people think about you. I don't care. If you know how many people used to talk about me? I remember I was on the football team at Texas Southern, and I was playing bad. And they basically um tried to say, this guy, my boy came up to me. He was like, man, they talking about you. 
And I looked, I was loud when I said, dude, did they come to my motherfucking face and say it to me? He said, no, nah. then I guess the motherfuckers don't, I guess the motherfuckers don't want to say it to a man. They boys, nigga. Boys joke and do all that shit. Men stand firm and continue fighting through adversity. And I told him just like that. I'm a man, dog. I've always been a man. I've always been a man and I'm not going to let bullshit slide. That's why I'm not married anymore. That's why I don't have no relationship because I'm going to tell a motherfucker the truth about themselves. I'm not finna tell you what you want to hear, nigga. I'm gonna tell you what you need to hear. And I expect you would do the same thing. Tell me what I need to hear. I don't need a motherfucker agreeing with every fucking thing I say. I don't agree with everything Sino say. I don't agree with everything Kwame Brown say. I don't agree with everything C. Penn say. Or Uncle Frank, all of them. Or LB. But you know why I fuck with them? Because all of them stand pat on what they believe in. And that's what a real man is. And you, Doug, you and that bum-ass LeBrownies aren't no men. Y'all nothing but little females that are dressed as men. Because y'all not pointing out the issue. Y'all not calling out the right things. The thing you need to be calling out right now, white boy. And I don't want to hear you white people going to my page. You're trying to keep it right. I ain't keeping... How am I racist? When I haven't created this systematic shit that we're in. You created it. Y'all the racist ones. Now let's get back to the regular schedule program I was going along before I sidetrack. Now, you basically are saying that she's right. How come you didn't mention Adam Meddleson? What about Rich Paul? Rich Paul was there. Was Rich Paul right? Being a black man, being a brother who's from probably the racist state, if not the racist city in the world. And he didn't say shit. He didn't say shit. He let the advisor go and say what he wanted to do. Oh, I know why. Because the advisor is his boss. <laughs> and then the advisor sent y'all dumbasses, Kendrick and, and Richard Jefferson out there to apologize for the white girl. Y'all motherfuckers right there, dog, were looking like... <laughs> Y'all were looking like Uncle Ruckus and Steven, nigga. Steven off of the Django. Y'all were looking just like Steven. <laughs> oh, all y'all was missing... All y'all mi all y'all were missing was, um... Was it Hennessy? Kennessy? What was his name? I forgot um, Leonardo um, DiCaprio um, character. Kennessy or Hennessy? Y'all just missed him saying, what's up, nigga? <laughs> that is my part. I said, oh, this white boy got swag. <laughs> Leonardo said, what's up, nigga? With the, with, the, with the guard in his hand. I said, oh, hell no. <laughs> I can't even be mad because he killed that scene. But that's what they want you to do. They want you to focus on all these sambos coming out to protect her, but don't, nobody wants to go at the little white girl. She innocent. They have always done this. When white man himself don't respect the white girl, you ain't see none of these white guys coming out to defend her. The only ones defending her is these coon ass niggas. All these coons. They, they quick, and then you got one white guy, Doug, Doug Gottlie. He want to come out and say something, but he ain't, nothing, he, ain't nothing but a, he ain't nothing but a little. Nobody knows him. He's just trying to get hot off of this shit because nobody knows him or listens to that bullshit. If you listen to that bullshit, then damn, I don't know what to tell you. You an idiot. You're an idiot. So... All I'm saying is this. I am waiting, LeBrownies, for um, Adam Meddleson. I'm waiting for you to tell me who is he and why is he getting away with this pass of talking bad about Black Lives Matter and talking bad about everybody. I just want to know. I just want to know. I just want to know. What does this guy got on you? Does he got secrets on you? That's why you ain't saying nothing? What is it? Is it your lover? Allegedly? I don't know, man. The way you was in that workout video squatting, 
having the tramp stamp on your back and then doing your little booty out. Now nah, you took it down because Ceno was roasting your soft ass. So what's going on, man? I just want to know, man. I, I just want to know. I just want to know who is this guy. Just just let me know, man. Like I don't need the I don't need the bullshit. Just tell me straight up. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? What is this guy? And why haven't you come out and said anything about it? You know you're making yourself look bad each day that this white dude just continues to walk around, you know, all sanctified and shit. You know that, right? Huh? Oh, I got time. You know that, right? Look at this face. This face is letting you know we not falling for the bullshit. You can stop as many of my videos from going out, my notifications. You can stop whatever you think you're stopping. Y'all can come and clown my page talking about how many subscribers. I don't care about none of that. This is what I care about. If you want to hear the real and the truth, subscribe to this page. If you want to hear that bullshit and all of that, keep watching them. Keep watching Shannon Not So Sharp. Keep watching all of these clowns because they don't care. They're going to keep feeding you the bullshit. I want to know why, Doug, you didn't talk about how Rachel didn't get suspended and why Kayla Johnson lost her job, but Rachel still can parade around here like she run the shit. And why isn't Adam Meddleson being talked about? Why hasn't he been pulled out of the closet, pulled out the back end? Huh? I know why. Because he's one of those guys who's supposed to be hidden. You're not supposed to know about him. But don't worry, Adam. We know who you are, and we're going to keep putting the pressure on you. I'm out. Deezy.